just in case you're wondering lunch was awesome and uh, we're gonna go down through here and uh, see if, uh, if we can find any more cool cars we're gonna talk about uh, windshields this is a uh, a billet style windshield post machine from a piece of billet aluminum on a 32 Roadster <clears throat> and then this is a Cabriolet it's not actually a Roadster even though it looks like a Roadster <clears throat> the windshield frame is part of the body part of the cowl and it's got roll-up windows in it uh, this is just for the folks that uh, might not know <clears throat> this windshield is a chopped original style windshield that you would find on a roadster i'm going to say that's probably uh a three inch chop i think that's scott tim's car this right here uh is probably a three and a half inch chop it's hard when they're sitting by themselves but his windshield uh, is uh, Brock's car is chopped more than Scott's Cool little pickup truck that j just now joined us. It's another windshield, uh, stock style windshield. And you can see this has probably got a two inch chop to it up against a three or three and a half inch chop. On Dale's car here, this is uh, <clears throat> the same windshield uh, that I've got on my Roadster and Dick Rodwell makes laid back windshield Dave's car's got a two inch chop Sheldon and Noah's car. This car has been in their family since the 50s. And it belonged to her dad and the family. When he went to the war, he took this car apart and hid the pieces so that they wouldn't sell it and he'd have it when they got back. So it had been apart for most of its life. And of course, he passed away many years ago, and they put this car back together. <clears throat> it does have a new chassis underneath it, modernized. It still has a flathead in it with a three quarter race cam, and that's what they still call the camshafts in these old flatheads. Still running original style brakes blast ply tires i mean this is uh the real deal they have driven this car all across the country making a few 900 plus miles in one day based out of uh the new orleans area Look at the original wood for the top, the dove joints and stuff. You just don't get much cooler than this. This is a hot rod from the 50s. Still running. Never change it. It looks awesome.
got a 35 Ford Roadster, 34, 33, excuse me. It's hard to tell these cars apart. It's just very subtle changes from 33 to 34. I've never owned one, but if you've owned one, then uh, it's really easy for you to change, uh, for you to uh, know the difference. <clears throat> Cute little El Camino. We picked him up at the uh, last stop. He's friends with uh, the guys that own the shop. Really neat, neat car. <clears throat> Got a few more over here. Now you've seen all these before. You may not want to see them again. Some of these have slid in. Rick Bell's car. We're gonna try to sneak over to their house later today and do a separate video just showcasing his cars or their cars. They got some really cool stuff. This is a uh, an original California hot rod that he picked up. <clears throat> Magnesium wheels. Really, really cool. And of course, old Sweet Potato. She's been holding up really well today. All right, and the last one we're going to talk about is is the Duval style windshield. <clears throat> Duval is a windshield originally used on boats and incorporated into hot rods, and that's what Mel's running on this little roadster right here. The Duval style windshield. I love it. Well, guys, thanks for joining me for a short video. There's been a lot going on in the shop. It's been crazy busy. I haven't been able to film all the content. But I haven't forgot about you. I've got some really neat stuff. A lot of videos I haven't edited yet that are awesome. So if you love hot rod content, you want to hang out with Spanky and Spanky's Hot Rods and Customs Garage, then click that subscribe button and show me some love. I sure appreciate all the uh, support, comments, and everything that I'm getting. I get right back with you if you ask me a question. And I really, really, really enjoy you guys helping out on all these projects. So stick around. Click that subscribe button. Help a brother out, and we'll see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.